against the civilian population, accusing them of planting landmines indiscriminately without regard for civilian lives. But for a war widely ignored, Commandant Salif said the rebels are forced to defend themselves. He thanked the Gambian leader for his intervention, saying he should never listen to detractors affiliating him to the Casamans rebellion. Let him assume his role and continue to help in efforts to find peaceful resolution to this crisis, Salif Sajo told the press. The prisoners of war were later escorted from the bus and ferried to the Ozone Bay Hotel, where they were fed, cleaned up, and thoroughly examined by a doctor before being sent home. A flight had been arranged by the government leader to facilitate the last leg of their journey. For us, uh, liberation is always a very big event because uh, if people are released who were a long time in captivity and uh, they were separated, therefore, from their families, to get released and to get reunited once again with uh, their family members, uh, that's, of course, a big event. I remember interviewing you a few days ago. Yes, yes, I remember perfectly. You came to Banjul and you told me that the president was a man of peace. Yeah, sure, I met the president and uh, this meeting was uh, quite important and now we can see also some fruits of this meeting. So you're real happy? Absolutely happy. Uh, we have done something very, we, we accomplished something that is very important in a nice and uh, fruitful cooperation with the Gambian government. So, and with the Red Cross, the National Red Cross. We touched down at the Air Force Base in Dakar to an emotional reception. President Macky Sall was at the foot of the aircraft to receive his soldiers. Their arrival has generated such interest in the Senegalese press, numbed by this act of generosity, which is so characteristic of the Gambian leader. His foreign minister, Manker Njai, says Senegal and her people are grateful to the Gambia, most especially to the role President Jami has played in the liberation of the eight captives. President Maki, he said, welcomes the move and felicitates the Gambian leader for securing the release of the men and returning them safely to their home soil. And shortly after their release, President Maki did send to Banjul, his defense minister, to meet with President Jami. Uh, Anak delegation bo am solo. Chindi ko lul president Makisal. Ukunyo set si president yaya yame. Pur nuyo ko yobente ka nuyo akay gram gramy dafa ajuchi jago yo kami dohna ka si lo kami president yaya yame dafna ko pur Regle problem yang kami ni mau aman kasam asli yang mungkin jisca cerita lebi mau militer yang kami dengan dengan fufu AMD AMD CT lain, temom presiden yang jami nyop sedeni dah nici aje goyur belalu sotih presiden makisal amci bukti murai gubernur Senegal amci bukti murai. But with the lessons of this humanitarian gesture, we now ask. When will the war in the Casamans end? Abdinjai, GRTS. You're watching End of Year Futures with me, Winifred Nicole Hodibat. Veteran politician and former vice president of the Republic of the Gambia, Hassan Musa Kamara, departed this earthly dwelling for eternity in 2013. He was a giant in his own right and left behind an enviable legacy, especially in the national political arena. Ibrahim Abalde helps us refresh our memories of the man, his legacy, and some of his achievements.
Chromium Super Savers. The lowest international call rates ever. Yes, you heard it. Chromium offers you the lowest international tariff ever. Lower than anywhere else. Chromium Super Savers. For the first time, you can also use your bonus credit to make international calls. Only from Chromium. Now is the time to call family and friends all over the world at rates you can definitely afford. Chromium brings you the lowest international call rates ever. Name your country and we got the lowest rates to the destination. One of the many reasons we say your credit lasts longer with Comium. Comium. We are better together. Right in the